will automatically assume that SUVs are driven by women more than men. Really? I just made that up, but it sounded logical. Why? It, well, not logical, it just... It was a way to start the vlog, which is 5.42. I'm going to pass it off to Kathy in this one. What do you think of this new Mazda CX-9 SUV? It's great. There you go. Okay, then. It's great. Once again, Kathy's uh, observations are complex <laughs> in depth. I don't really know where she's coming from, but that doesn't really matter because we are doing something very cool in this Mazda today. It was Kathy's idea. I'm not going to... Well, first we're going to go eat at my favorite place downtown LA. Which is what? Zinc. It's vegan. It is vegan. It's really delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, we're going to go to Michael Levine and pick up some supplies for the kangaroo that Kathy is currently building. And then after that, we may do something nuts. We're going to go someplace and get really high. Extremely high. As about as high as you can get in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Stay tuned. It's coming up. So good. Incredible. If um, if you're ever going to downtown, oh. which is right here, Boom. you got to go there because uh, Zinc Cafe has got it going on. The food is fantastic. Plus, it's really well designed. You could go there in the evening Turn and have on wine. South Central Avenue. <laughs> you can't compete with the lady. No. Stop number two down. Number three, uh, we are now headed somewhere very unique. Can we tell them where we're going now? I think so. We are going to, it is the highest building west of Chicago, the U.S. Bank building. And on the top floor is a sky deck uh, called Sky Space. And not only is it a deck, there is a glass slide that I'm going to go down that's 45 feet long. <laughs> I'm not gonna go down it. You may or may not remember this, but this building got destroyed in the first Independence Day movie. I did not know that. It got obliterated. Well, these guys might know that. If you're so inclined, before you watch us go up to this building, watch Independence Day. Really fast. Does it say uh, U.S. Bank on it? I don't know. Well, you were the knowledgeable one about the building. I wasn't paying attention to the sign. Walking up the to the U.S. Bank lobby. Do you think we have to walk up these stairs all the way to the top? That's the only way to get there. All right. It's about 2,500 steps. The only ones. Well, there's a few people. 
people up there. And it's Take you to the 54th floor where we have an interactive level, and then from there you go up to All right, good Thank deal, you. thanks. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> there is nobody here. We got the, this whole place, the whole elevator. There's no crowns. This place has only been open since June. Yeah. I don't think that many people know about it, so. straight to the top. You nervous? Not yet. Oh man. We've been to the top of the Sears Tower and it was like hundreds of people there. Uh -huh. There's nobody here. The door just opened. Yeah. Oh, there's the Hollywood sign. There's the outdoor right there. <laughs> That's the Bonaventure Hotel. It's been a lot of movies. Where's the Hollywood sign? Oh. This right there, that's where we went snowboarding. I, I freak out when I think about standing outside on one of those buildings. Don't think about that. I know, but I, I kind of do. Technically, this building is taller than the one we're in right now, just because it has a spire. I think that's kind of cheap. Yeah. It's not really fair. Yeah. This is Century City, right here. Hollywood is over there. And here's some dude in a hat. That's all East LA. Where? walking here all by myself. I gotta go out on the patio. Tim's gonna be coming down. so fast you don't get a chance to realize what you're seeing. <laughs> It's pretty amazing coming up here and there's nobody here. I mean, it's it's like there's a couple over here. There's nobody on this side. It's completely empty. Uh, the slide is cool, but you go down so fast that you don't necessarily get to absorb it. Ah. They should give you like one free slide and then kind of tell yeah. you what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so if you do come uh, come down the slide one time and you decide to do this, uh, make sure you look out and don't look down because if you look down, you're looking at your crotch. What well, do you want to do it again? Uh. Yeah, he's really nervous, but it's really not that bad. You know, these glass pieces are really tall. You can't get through. See, look at me. I'm trying to put my hand through. I can't even get my fingers through. So right here, 
That's Dodger Stadium, where they have Dodger Dogs. This is the Disney Concert Hall, the Frank Gehry Building. That's pretty cool. And right next to it is the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. What an awesome time. Had a blast. Uh, I, I love going out and exploring in this town. LA is just so big. You don't realize how much bigger it is than most cities. And there's so many things to do in, in every nook and cranny, uh, you know, horizontally speaking. But this time we did something vertically. Downtown is filled with all, all kinds of really amazing places. All right, I mentioned that uh, I had done a sketch and here it is. This is the first in a series, this is a Fireball Chevy. This is the original sketch. This was done for uh, a, a series of t-shirts that I'm gonna be starting that's gonna be a whole slew of different brands, you know, Chevy, Ford, Dodge, you know, pretty much everybody. But this is the first one. You can actually get the, the shirt. I'm gonna put a link right down in the show notes. If you buy one of these shirts, it supports the, the show, it supports the vlog. So anytime you get a chance to, to purchase something, whether it's a book or whether it's a, a t-shirt in this case, you get something really cool, we'll have these. You can check out the blog at fireballtim.com. There'll be a link there so you can order the shirts or you can at least check out some of the other shirts and stuff that we have. It's all cool. And then last month's uh, Cartoon Magazine sent me this issue, you know, with my Batmobile hidden somewhere in there. And this issue was really, really cool. I got to check out, you know, all kinds of neat stuff that's in it. Uh, centerfold, not necessarily a sexy centerfold, but it was pretty cool. But then they sent me another one. This is this is this month's issue. I don't, I'm not sure what this is yet. The thing about this magazine is the the art is is incredible. The art is really good. Everybody who's involved, as far as from the artist standpoint, makes the magazine really cool. I am driving this car next week. I am driving that car next week. Let's see what this issue has in store. You're gonna see it before I do. Ready? Uh, 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 uh. A little bit of crossover Godzilla art with cars. It might need the addition of some kind of fireball thing going on. Just saying. But this is awesome. Look at, check out that illustration. That is really cool. That's nostalgic. That's the kind of stuff they did in the 60s. Big difference between that piece of art and then the cover art, right? Something like that's gotta go on the cover. Those are cool. Yeah, this guy knows the drill, he knows what to do. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. Still got this other one. Check them out, Cartoons Magazine. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna show you what Kathy's working on. Her kangaroo, it looks pretty cool. The Mazda CX-9, uh, we're gonna be taking that out. Uh, tomorrow's episode, I'm gonna kind of focus on that car a little bit, just tell you a little bit about it, uh, give you some specs on the car. It's really nice. I'm digging it. All right, big day. That's it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that button. Make sure you join us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, all that kind of fun stuff. And don't forget, hit us up on the blog at fireballtim.com. You can subscribe there. There's all kinds of other stuff that's going on. 
It's all good, baby. 